yesterday I uploaded a video showing you how to use custom symbols in GNS3. I showed you as an example how to change your GNS3 topologies from using the default symbols to using symbols such as these. Now I've had some feedback about that video. One of the suggestions was to show you how to change the templates. So if you right click on this template, notice the default symbol used in the template is shown here. You can change that template so that you don't have to manually change the symbols of every device. So as an example, you may not want to have to keep on changing the icon. So to change the template, simply right click, click Configure Template, and browse to the template that you want to use. So as an example, if I search for router, notice here we've got router new blue, which is the template that I uploaded previously. If I click OK and click OK, notice that router symbol has changed. So if I drag that router into the topology, notice it's using the new symbol. So notice the difference versus this router. This router is still using the old template, but this router is now using the new template or new symbol. So to change a symbol of an individual device, right click, select change symbol, and then you can change the symbol to change the symbol of a template, right click, click Configure Template, and then browse to the icon that you wanna use. So I know this is wrong, but I'll simply change that router to a red hub so that you can see that the template was changed. I'll change that back again so that it's not confusing. So I'll set it to router and click OK. Now someone else asked, is it possible to use 3D symbols rather than 2D symbols such as these? And the answer is yes. The first issue is where do you get templates? Now Cisco, as an example, have network topology icons that you can use. They have a PowerPoint document that you can download. So you may wanna use these icons in your topologies. The problem here is these are not in the right format and are not necessarily that good looking. Resolution isn't that good. But notice in this document, they tell you that you can go to bxcisco.com to get individual icons. So if you go to the Cisco Brand Exchange or bx.com, I'll log out here because I'm logged in. So go to bxcisco.com and I'll just show you that full process, so bxcisco.com. I'll log in with my username and password, click login. Notice you can either download icons or you can download photos of devices. So as an example, if you wanted to download pictures of some kind of device, let's say a switch, and you probably wanna be more specific than that because you'll get a lot of photos returned. But the point is, is that you can download images of devices if you want to. So as an example here, we've got a Nexus switch. And here's an example, we have a Cisco 9500. So going back to brand assets, let's have a look at icons. I'll do a search for device icons. And I could simply, as an example, search for router. There are different types of routers. We've got a virtual router, we've got a voice router, we've got a standard router. So what I'll do is click on a few of these. So let's say router with firewall, a voice router, standard router, click download. You've got to tell them why you're going to be using these assets or icons. I'm going to say for labs and click download. So that's now downloading. So all I'm going to do here is extract this file and then extract the individual zip files. 
that came as part of that. And now in GNS3, let's say on this router, I could right click and go to change symbol, use custom symbol, and I can simply browse to where I've downloaded those symbols. So let's say router. Let's say as an example, I wanna use this icon. I can click open, click okay, and notice the router icon has changed. Now, some people have said there's a problem with the sizing of devices in a topology. Notice here I'm using different icons. You, you wanna use icons of the same size, but if you wanna make them smaller, one of the easiest ways to do that is to simply zoom out and then change the size of your text. So as an example here, I'll right click on that text, go to edit, select font, and then I could make it bigger so that it's more in line with my graphic. But here obviously there's a disconnect between the sizes of the symbols. So what I'll do is I'll create a new project. And let's call this 3D symbols. Click OK. So originally I had these symbols. I could simply right click, change symbol, and then I could do a search for router as an example. And I've downloaded a few of these. Notice this one is a different size to this one. So I've previously downloaded different icons. But again, you can say use custom symbol, browse, and let's choose another one. Let's say an orange router, click open. Notice that icon is there. The size of these icons or symbols depends on the original image used. So if I change the symbol here and choose a small orange router, notice the image is very, very small. That might be too small. Once again, not great quality. So I'll change that to use a mid-sized router and let's use a blue one in this example and click OK. So you may find these icons not to be the best quality for what you want. You probably wanna use the largest images. So something like that. So that you have a better quality image when you zoom out as an example. So that looks a lot better based on what I'm seeing than this little router here. Now a good thing about doing it that way is the symbols are automatically copied for you to the right directory. So if I go to edit preferences, this is where the symbols are stored. And if I go to that directory, so I'll paste that in again, C users admin GNS3 symbols, notice the symbols have been copied to this directory for me, which means that it's available in the symbols library so I can simply select the symbol rather than having to browse for it. So again, that's probably not the right symbol for what I wanna use. Now, because I've copied so many of them, I'm getting different images, which aren't the ones that I want. So what I'll do is go to the symbols directory and delete all of these out of the library. So now when I change the symbol of the individual router. Notice those symbols are no longer available. And what I'll do is select the one that I want for all my devices. So now right click, change symbol. Notice that is the one that I wanna use. Okay, so that's better. So again, based on size, if the icons are much bigger than the original GNS3 icons. So as an example, I'll set this back to the original GNS3 icon. You simply need to resize your topologies. So notice the size difference here versus this icon. So what I would do is zoom out of the topology and then I'd simply change the size of the text to make it bigger in line with that icon. Or what you could do is use a smaller image. 
So in this example, I'm using large router images. You could use smaller images if you didn't want to go through the work of changing the size of interface numbers and devices. But what I can do once again is right click on the template and then use this as my default symbol. So notice I've got one router using the Cisco image, 3D and one using a 2D image. It probably doesn't look good mixing these, so you wanna be consistent. So you probably wanna change these symbols to be the same throughout your topology. Okay, so let's change a switch. So I've got a switch here. I'll go back to the Cisco website and search for a switch. I'll click on that switch. Here's a layer three switch. I'll download them both. I'm gonna be using this for labs. File is downloaded. I'll extract that file. Extract the individual device images. Go back to GNS3 and, and let's for the moment drag the switch into the topology and I'll right click change symbol, use a custom symbol, browse to my new download and let's get the switch. And there you go. Bring another switch into the topology. So here it is, let's change that symbol and for example, make it a layer three switch and click open. And there we go. Now again, these are just GNS3 symbols in a topology. You can connect devices as you would normally. There's nothing stopping you connecting the devices as you would in any standard implementation. So let's do one last one. Let's look for a laptop. So here we've got a PC. I'll download it. I'm gonna be using it for labs. I'll open up that zip file, go to GNS3. Let's bring a PC into the topology. Right click, change symbol, use a custom symbol. And what I wanna use here is this laptop. And there we go. Now again, you may find that that laptop is too big for your topology. So you could right click, change symbol, and then choose one of the smaller images that Cisco give you and use that. Looks like I changed a whole bunch of devices at one time. So let's change the symbol back to what it was, a router. I'll change this back to a switch. Make it a layer three switch here. So you gotta play around with the symbols. If they are too big or too small, then what you need to do is resize them yourself in a graphics application. So resize them as needed to get the right image sizes. So thanks to everyone for providing feedback. I've now shown you how to change a template in GNS3. I've also shown you how to use 3D icons in your GNS3 topologies. In this example, I've downloaded icons from Cisco's website, but you could do this from another vendor if you prefer using their icons. Want to wish you all the very best.